a lot of you have been asking me for about maybe like eight months now to do a QA. We wanna know more about you, Nick. Do a QA, do a QA, do a QA. So I said, alright, bet, I'm gonna do a QA. So the people that are in the Discord have given me some questions and I'm going to be answering them today on this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. Alright, so the first question we got for today: What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? And how did you feel when you uploaded your first video? What inspired me to start my own YouTube channel was just the enjoyment I had personally growing up watching YouTube. I watched a lot of different creators growing up they just brought so much happiness and joy to my life and i wanted to do the same thing growing up the feeling i had when i started uploading and first uploaded my first video it was exciting just being a creator and like i feel like i'm a very creative person and that's how i express myself it's just really fun to do so it's just something i'm really passionate about what's your birthday my birthday is july 6 2004 use that information wisely if you could travel or move somewhere where and why i really like japan guys and i know that's a very basic question or like a basic answer but it's just a place that I really always want to go. I think the cities are just gorgeous. I just think it would be like a really good place to live. Are you really hacking in Warzone? No, I don't hack in Warzone. Recently, I've been doing streams where I play Call of Duty Warzone and the title is Hacking in Warzone, but no. Next question. Does Nixter want me low-key? Huh? Corm, who is the girl you keep texting on stream? Also, what race are you? I'm not sure what girl you're referring to, buddy. Um, how do you even know it's a girl? My race? My nationality is Guyanese, so I'm like mixed. If you didn't do YouTube, what would be another career you would look forward to? Nothing. nothing. Literally nothing. I feel like, you know when you feel like you were born to do something and like that is what you are meant to do? That's how I feel about content creation. I've been wanting to do content creation since I was in fifth grade, so I think since I I was 10 years old and i plan to see it all the way through so i wouldn't look forward to any other career that doesn't mean i don't have backup plans but as far as looking forward to any other career i wouldn't look forward to anything else if i can't follow my dreams i will live a very miserable life is corm in love that depends i love a lot of things in life <laughs> Favorite YouTuber? When I was growing up, I think my top three would definitely be Markiplier, Corey Kenshin, and Tobuscus. Unfortunately, Tobuscus fell off literally the face of the planet. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself being successful. No stress, enjoying my life, and doing what I love. Do you have fine shit? I don't know. Where do you live? <coughs> <coughs> from brother to brother help her out how do i tell that one girl that i'm in love with that i want to date her just do it it's literally not that hard your brain just makes it harder just do it and if you don't do it you're going to regret not doing it so if you really do like her love her as you said here go for it man be yourself and if she doesn't like you for who you are find someone better yo what's your favorite game favorite game of all time has to be mario and luigi bowser's inside story that game was for the dsi absolutely peak that game game has changed my life when I played it and I've played it probably like eight or nine times I've beaten that whole game like literally from start to finish erase start over again like literally eight or nine times bro or like even ten or more times Bowser's Inside Story sits at the pinnacle of gaming why is your mic always muted so this guy is trying to be funny because when I start stream almost every freaking stream my mic is somehow muted and I'm over here talking like this and then he'd be like, oh, you're muted, you're muted. This was you nine years ago. Do you watch mommy ASMR? What is wrong with you? How do you come up with new ideas for your videos? Going on YouTube and searching and like looking at other content creators. Not stealing their ideas, but just using their uh, videos as like inspiration for my own content. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I really like ramen or any pasta dish for that matter. I love Italian food, um, but ramen is just so goddamn good. Like soup and like the noodles and like all the ingredients you can put inside, how versatile the dish can be. It's just such a good dish, bro. And I'm not talking about that instant ramen i used to literally live off that instant ramen in 2020 and that shit literally almost killed me but yeah actual ramen like like restaurant ramen and stuff that shit is really good have you ever had a video that didn't perform well but you really loved yeah i mean all, all all the time there's a lot of videos that i post that i think oh this is the next big one this is the one that's going to 
get my career skyrocketing, this is the one. But they don't perform well, and that's okay. As long as one person watches it, and one person enjoys it, and one person smiles from watching it, that's all that really matters, man. It doesn't matter about the numbers, it just matters about the impact. If you could swap lives with any other YouTuber for a day, who would it be? You know what? I'd, I'd swap lives with, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all a good one. I'm gonna swap lives with Corey Kenshin, and then I'm gonna upload on his channel for y'all. I got y'all. I'm, I'm gonna take one for the team. I got y'all. I got y'all. What's your all-time favorite movie or TV show? You see that right there? You see these right here? And nah, these are not small. These are thick-ass books. Three chapters in one. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball series in general, man. It's just so goaded. Right now, I am watching One Piece. But yeah, man, Dragon Ball is so good. One Piece is there. Death Note is also there. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? I'd have telekinesis so I can control all of you guys to go hit the like and subscribe button right now.